Hello, today, and today we're going to have a game of License to Kill on the BBC Micro, and this is a game request by Nay Smith. Okay, so I have reviewed this on a few different systems. Interesting to see how it plays on the BBC, and interestingly, we got some normal keys, what I would consider normal keys, QA, OP, and space. And on the other side there, we got what I would consider typical BBC keys. Because obviously that star key was used quite a lot. Um, yeah, I'm sticking with QAOP because it's emulated. And I know this keyboard configuration quite well because I used to use it on the CPC quite a lot. Um, so, how's this version going to play? Very monochromic. You know what? This is similar to the Spectrum version. North looks like a Spectrum version. Except for the Spectrum version, it had more colour. But graphically, it looks pretty much identical. Oh, right, bloody hell, that was quick. Now it. Now, I, I thought when I reviewed the Spectrum version, I thought it was the most playable. Fucking hell. Look at this. Where the f. Right, some clips, so I'll get that. Wow! Wow! Oh, fuck it. Where am I? Oh. So, I think it's quick. How, if that, if they, if this is basically the Spectrum version, how the fuck did they do that? Because this has got the same processor. Well, I think it's 2 megahertz. It's just basically the same processor as the Commodore 64, isn't it? Where the Commodore 64 processor was 1 megahertz. This was actually 2, was it? I don't know. But... This is the Spectrum version, I'm sure. Or was this... Or was it originally programmed on the BBC and got ported to the Spectrum? I don't think so, because there's more colour on the Spectrum. I mean, this is completely monochromic. This is something I would expect to see on the Amstrad CPC, actually. But even the CPC version had colour. Fucking hell. That helicopter... Helicopter level seemed quite short. But you know what? It's certainly more playable than uh, the Commodore 64 version, the Amiga version. Because I couldn't even get off the helicopter stage on that, on those versions. I think even the CPC version I couldn't even get off the helicopter stage. It was that fucking difficult. This seemed to be quite easy to get off the helicopter stage. It doesn't seem that, lot, that big of a level. Is that was the level cut back because of memory? Because the fact because you've got to remember the BBC Micro's only got 32k of RAM. I wonder if that had to be cut down because of that. A 
and the BBC Micro is the oldest out of a lot of them. Oldest computer out of a lot of them, I was supposed to say. 81, I think, that come out. Oh! Oh, what? Fuck off. Game over. Give it one more go. So it does seem very, very nippy, very fast. Fuck. Right, we're here already. So now we transfer on foot, because that's where we're chasing after Sanchez. If you've seen the film. Film was good. I did prefer the living daylights though, but it was still a good film. Oh for fuck's sake. Um, Timothy Dalton did make a good James Bond in my opinion. Weren't my favourite, but he did make a good James Bond. It's just a pity he didn't do more films. But that was down to no no. Something to do with the company didn't do no more films until it was revived in 1995 with Pierce Brosnan. Unfortunately, Cubby passed away by then. Then why didn't they put no colour into this? I mean, I've got to admit, it plays fine. It plays fine. It does look like the Spectrum version. No doubt about that. Oh, 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 fuck. But at least I got off the helicopter prop stage. Really no problem. Where in the other versions I really struggled to get off the helicopter stage. See, it doesn't go back to the menu. Fuck it. Alright, let's have one more go then. So it seems quite easy, this helicopter level on the BBC. But you compare this to the Spectrum version, as I fucking lose a life for the first time. I think it was the first time, I don't know, I can't remember now. But you compare this to the Spectrum version, I have reviewed it on Spectrum. It does look very similar. Right. So now we're on foot. So I think this version is quicker. Hmm. Now I'm quite aware there was another bomb film that came out on the BBC, and that was um, the other uh, Piers Bros. Pierce Brosnan, Timothy Dalton one, The Living Daylights, but I cannot figure out the keys on that version, so I doubt very much I'll be reviewing it. Because I cannot find any instructions on that version whatsoever, and I cannot figure out the keys. I think it's one of them keys where it does use the star button, and it's fucking that. And then I've got to remap the fucking emulator, because being the BBC, it has to be fucking awkward using that star button. Yes, I know... It's fine on the original hardware, which of course it is. I can understand that. Anyway, yeah, this version of License to Kills, yes, it's not bad. It's not bad. I can get off that helicopter stage without too much issues. See, yes, I, I know it's, I've got to take my time and all that, but it's a review at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, it plays. It plays fine. It does play fine. It looks like the Spectrum version. Compare it to the Spectrum version, you, you'll see what I mean. Except for the Spectrum version had more colour. 
Anyway, I'm going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.